Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install the exposed framework on your Nexus 6P here running Marshmallow on the latest Android version. Well it should work with any Marshmallow version. So to begin we're gonna, you're already going to have to have TWRP installed and for that uh, you already have to have an unlocked bootloader and of course you also already have root access as well so, so you have to double check that you got SuperSU running and that it's working fine and another thing that we want to enable is instead of copying things ever we're going to enable the developer options by tapping the build number seven times going to the developer options and then once we're in the developer options scroll down a little bit and make sure USB debugging is enabled as well so we can install APKs like that so we can do less of this touchy touchy things okay so to begin we're gonna go to our computer here or our phone and just follow the first link to download the exposed framework so we have to download a couple things here we need the exposed installer which used to be the way for installing it but we need to flash the framework via recovery now so we're gonna hit download here at the bottom we're gonna download the installer I'm just going to save it to uh, our Android. I'll just make a new folder called Exposed. Looks like I already have the application. I'll replace it anyway. And the next thing we need to download is the framework zip. So just click on the second download link there. And we need the SDK 23, which is for Marshmallow. We need the ARM64 variant. And we're going to download the latest one, version 85, not the ASC. We're going to download that zip file. We're going to save it in Exposed. And we'll wait for that to download. So, so while we wait, we can install the APK first. So another thing that you're going to need that I didn't bring up already is, well, you can install, just install the APK. I'll do it through the, uh, I'll do it through ADB. I will leave a link to the platform tools that you can use to um, install the APK through there. So I'm going to quickly install the APK and you can do it like this or you can copy it to your phone and install it through a file manager or something like that. I'm going to go to my exposed, uh, where is it, here we go, alpha 4. I'm going to have to re-plug in my device. So that should install in a couple seconds. You may have to uh, accept the prompt here. I'll show you. If you can read that, I've got to get a new camera. It's a. It's essentially a asking you to allow Google to check your applications that are installing. And if we go back to the computer, you'll see that we are actually we actually finished installing that. We can close that. No, it depends on how you installed it. So it's already a little bit weird. And the next thing we want to do is copy over the exposed framework, the latest version here. In this case, it's the version version 85. We want to copy that to our 6P, and for that to work, we're going to need to uh, re sorry change USB for charging to USB for file transfers. Once we've got that, we can just paste it in here. As you can see, that's done. And what you need to do now is reboot into the recovery or TWRP. So you can do that by turning your device off, holding the power and volume down button to get into the bootloader and then getting, getting into the recovery mode. But I'm going to type in ADB reboot recovery and that'll reboot our phone into TWRP. Now essentially we just got to wait for our phone to get into TWRP and we'll flash the exposed framework zip file. As you can see we're in. You'll need to decrypt your data partition by entering your screen lock code if that's a pattern or a pin. And hopefully the camera doesn't spaz out and we're going to have to hold it again. Okay so now we're in this menu you can tap on install. You can scroll down to wherever you copied the exposed framework. You see it's at the bottom there where well, you can't really see it because the light's in the way. There we go. And just tap on that to install it swipe to install and it'll start installing. Now you can see it's done already, that's really quick. We can reboot the system and 
we'll wait for that to turn back on. And once it does, we'll take a look at the, ex uh, the exposed installer or the exposed app on our phone and have a look at some modules. Alrighty, as you can see, our phone is turned on. We're gonna unlock it and we're gonna have a look at the exposed. I can unplug this now, can't I? Okay, so you can see that we have the exposed installer at the bottom here. And this is the place where the magic happens. So you can, if you tap on framework, you can see that we've actually installed the proper framework there. As you can see, it says at the top, version 85 is active. So it's the same one as we initially installed. So now we can look at some modules that are already in here, but we don't have any. And last thing, we can have a look at some downloads. So uh, we'll just grab Gravity Box here. And that'll allow us to do some modifications, kind of like Synergy Mod, but without but on the stock run, gravity. So we need a gravity box marshmallow. We can tap on that. We can swipe over the versions and we can install the latest version. Now that is installing a, well, gravity box really. And you'll need to actually enable uh, installing from unknown sources here. If you just scroll down check that, hit back, and hit install. And we can hit install, and that will install the gravity box for Marshmallow on our phone. We can open it, but you'll see up there that it needs to, um, that it needs to activate the module here. And if that thing will focus. Hopefully by next week I'll get a better camera. All right, so you can check that. Oh, well, not tap on it. Check on the uh, checkbox here, and it'll say the exposed module will be active on the reboot. So all you need to do is restart your, your phone for that to take effect. So you can do a soft reboot, but a full reboot is generally recommended. So it's just finishing up optimizing apps that you still can't really see. Okay, so once that is done, we can now unlock our phone and we can check out Gravity Box. Just an example of an exposed module. You'll find it in the app drawer. And there's some certain things that we need to allow here. Yeah, I get it. It's for your stock Android device. So we can go ahead and look at tweaks and all that. But I guess just to show it works, we'll have a look at the, not status by color, battery. Make it a circle battery. There we go. So that's how you install Exposed Framework and how to enable a module and download a module from the Exposed Installer application on your Android phone. Well, that's about it, guys, for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below as well. And as always, thanks for watching.